Resogun is the latest colorful shooter from Finnish indie developer Housemark. It's an extravagant, heavily detailed demonstration of the PlayStation 4's graphical horsepower. But look under the hood and you'll find an old shoot-em-up that isn't shy of aping its inspirations. The obvious point of reference is the arcade classic Defender, which provides Resogun structure. As a spaceship, you protect humans from enemy waves encroaching from both sides of the screen. Resogun adds a twist to how you save these humans. You must first free a captive by exterminating a special set of enemies, then collect the living cargo and deliver it to one of two goals. It's just enough complexity to make the Defender homage feel new, and at its best, it feels oddly enough like a slam dunk in basketball, spiking this poor human into a bright green hoop. Resogun's other inspiration is a lesser known subgenre of shooters called the Bullet Hell. In a Bullet Hell shooter, thousands of projectiles that inflict instant death gradually overtake the screen. To survive, the player memorizes the intricate bullet patterns and carefully threads a ship through the holes, often only a couple pixels wide. Resogun is more forgiving than a traditional bullet hell, its patterns seem less intricate and easier to evade. And yet, the overall experience is sometimes richer and more complex. Not only must you evade waves or projectiles, but target enemies, monitor dangers from both sides of the screen, and collect and deliver humans to safety. Each component is easy on its own, the pleasure and the difficulty stems from doing everything at once. Saving humans is the best way to upgrade your weapons. A maxed out ship has the firepower of a hell god, raining hate and fear on its cowering victims. More firepower means more kills, which means more energy to fill your laser meter. Your laser is an apocalyptic beam of pain that devastates whatever stands in its path. On normal difficulty, I used it as a sort of lethal flourish. On harder difficulties, it became a vital tool. Like a great old-school arcade game, Resogun trains you, making you its master one round at a time. There always seems to be an escape hatch, so long as you have the skill and reflexes to use it. Besides the laser, you can collect screen-clearing bombs or use a dodge move that lances a row of enemies. Because there are multiple ways to play the game well, the game doesn't seem nearly as repetitious or difficult as most shooters. And because it's beautiful, really, it's quite the looker with sparks and particles and debris constantly crashing about the courses, it accomplishes that great feat of its predecessors. It attracts others. Resogun is a collision of 1980s shooters, 1990s bullet hells, and 2010s tech demos. It's as simple or as difficult as you want it to be. Sure, it borrows great ideas, and quite liberally, but its best idea is smashing them all together into a singular, spectacular laser light show.